So here we have Euphorbia caraceus subspecies wolfinii, uh, this Mediterranean spurge. And here I am, October 1st, uh, that time period, and it still looks good brings a lot of great texture to the garden. Uh, but we get the most questions at the State Botanical Garden of Tennessee about this plant in the early spring as it blooms with tall towers, um, greenish yellow blooms that completely cover this plant. Uh, and it really is a showstopper in the spring landscape. And there's not a lot going on when it's blooming in the garden. And so it mixes well in that early spring garden. So this is a herbaceous perennial. Uh, it's in the Euphorbiaceae Euphorbia family. And so if you were to break the stem, you're gonna see that it has kind of a milky sap. And so uh, make sure if you're working around it that you are more sensitive to kind of that milky sap or latex uh, that you are careful because it could, you could be sensitive to this plant. Hardy from zone six through eight. Uh, the subspecies Wolfinii really denotes that this is a shorter version of the straight species, uh, getting just two to three foot high, spreading out one and a half to two foot wide. Now our experience with this plant in the garden is that it does seed itself uh, quite readily. Uh, we're happy to let it do so because we love it here, uh, but you do need to be careful that it doesn't overly seed in your landscape and so you just maybe want to be a little bit aware of that. So really one of the keys to growing this plant well is good drainage. It loves well-drained soils and in a way it must have well-drained soils to really thrive and so you want to be careful when you do place this plant and that is how you're going to be successful with it. Uh, again beautiful early spring bloom and then just great bluish gray texture to the foliage as the season progresses. In, in climates where if it was in kind of mucky clay soils uh, and if it was in kind of hot humid conditions, it's just not going to perform as well uh, as it will in a little bit more arid conditions, more of like a Mediterranean climate. Here's a landscape tip. Each stem is topped in spring by a thick bottle brush like inflorescence of green yellow flowers. Just an update here on the Mediterranean Spurge, uh, here to put at the end of the video with this in full bloom. I'd actually uh, think that it, this has been in bloom for a couple weeks now, but still looking good. The big bloom heads on top of here. Everybody's asking about this plant because it's such a knockout in the garden right now with these kind of greeny chartreuse limey um, uh, bloom plumes at the top, uh, but looking good, good texture. Uh, this bloom won't last much longer, but looking good for now.